ominous. Yeah, ominous looking skies across all of the south. Really, Don, Memphis, even Little Rock. We have pictures out of Little Rock. And these storms, basic portions of Arkansas, and this does include Little Rock, and in fact, uh, is considered a particularly dangerous situation from the Storm Prediction Center, and that doesn't happen very often. And so that means you need to take these storms very, very seriously. In fact, we're starting to see some of these cells pop up, and these are the ones that you really want to look out for. There's a tornado warning in effect right now for this one right here. Well, we'll get some information for you, and it is uh, in effect until about 5 o'clock central time. It's affecting 245 people, a rural area of Oklahoma. We also have a severe thunderstorm warning in Oklahoma as well, and that is until 545 central time. I want to show you something else because with these storms, they have a lot of lightning associated with them. And if we just draw a little box right here, you can see in the past 30 minutes, about 150 lightning strikes with these two cells. And so this has been something that, of course, is very, very dangerous. These storms are moving at about 30 miles per hour to the northeast, producing very heavy rainfall, large hail, golf ball, sometimes baseball size hail, Don. And so these are very, very dangerous. They'll be alive through the rest of the afternoon into the evening hours. And they should heed Jennifer Gray's warnings. Thank you very much, Jennifer. We appreciate you. You know, Georgia loosens its gun carrying laws. Does it make weather and understand uh, you and talk to us about a tornado, correct? Yeah, we have video actually of a tornado on the ground. In fact, we've been watching, so a lot of people are going to be on the lookout for these storms as we go through the next couple of hours, Don. So these are very, very powerful. I want to zoom in on some of them so you can get a closer look. You can see the town of Asbury. There's Carl Junction. There's Joplin right there, and you can see some very strong storms just to the south. These are all moving to the northeast at 40, so something that folks in Missouri definitely need to be on the lookout for in the next couple of hours. But Keeping a close watch on it all. Jennifer, what do you have? Yeah, Don, these are fierce, and they're not letting up anytime soon. In fact, we have more tornado warnings to tell you about. A lot of these are firing up right along that Kansas-Missouri state line, and they are definitely dangerous. I'm going to show you just a couple of these. You can see this one right around center. In fact, they're moving to the northeast at about 40 miles per hour, and um, they're going to continue to push to the northeast. So all of these towns right in its path, you can see center, Nevada, about 20,000 people in the path of that one. And then as you go down to the south, zoom in on that one, uh, Jasper counties, Lawrence counties, and this one is in effect until 715 central time. We also have a couple of tornado warnings currently in effect in Mississippi. And so these are just as dangerous heading to the northeast at about 40 miles per hour. This one is in effect until 7 o'clock for Tate and Tunica, and then we also have another one. You can see a little bit of rotation indicated by the Doppler, and this one uh, is in effect until 7.30 as well. So, Don, very dangerous situation going on across the country. We still have that high risk of tornado development anywhere across the south, and that extends all the way up into Missouri and points north. Jennifer Gray, thank you. Appreciate that. A new plan in the search for